Hey everyone, just want to make a quick video about some things that I hate about this car. So here we go. So the first thing that I hate about the Mustang GT has to be the transmission. Now the MT82 transmission um, has had a set of problems. Um, it's been widely noted on the forums. It's just a little too clunky, a little too nudgy for everyday use. The throws are short, so that um, is a good part of the transmission, but otherwise I wish it was a little bit easier to use. The second part that I hate about this car is the suspension. Now for daily driving, it's really well suited. It absorbs the bumps really well. But the problem is that when you start to drive spiritedly, it just gets too bouncy. And this is a performance pack, so the suspension is supposed to be more sporty. But still, I wish um, the car was a little bit more hunkered down when you're driving spiritedly. The third thing that I hate is the exhaust. Now, the car sounds pretty good overall, but there's not enough of the sound. The exhaust just sounds a little bit choked, a little bit muted. So I wish the exhaust um, was a little bit louder. Um, still, it's okay for everyday use. It's not too loud or too obnoxious, so it's not too bad. The fourth thing that I hate is the steering wheel. Now, uh, specifically, the uh, it's too big of a steering wheel. The diameter is too large, and the grip is too thin. I wish it was a little bit of a smaller steering wheel, um, and I wish the, the grip was a little bit beefier, and a flat bottom would have been nice too. Um, so I wish the steering wheel felt a little bit sportier. On top of that, um, the steering rack has a couple of problems as well. They're not really technical problems, but just some improvements that uh, I think it could have. Firstly, the steering ratio is pretty slow, so you have to give it a lot of steering input to get the car to move. The second part is that um, there is a dead spot in the middle, so the steering just feels a little bit loose overall, and I wish the steering was just a little bit tighter and a little bit quicker. The last thing that I hate are the seats. Now again, you sort of see a theme here where the parts are good for daily driving, but you know not so good for spirited driving. So the seats are very comfortable for daily driving, but I wish they were better bolstered um, for spirited driving. Now I do have the standard seats, and um, so they're not the Recaros, but still I wish the bolstering was a little bit better. Um, the bolsters have loosened up over time, so the passenger seat is not that bad, but. The bolsters on the driver's seat have loosened up over time and uh, the seat doesn't feel that sporty. Um, the second thing about the seat is that it does have uh, a heating and cooling function and the heating function works pretty well. The cooling function definitely needs some improvement. Now the bottom of the seat where your legs are uh, works fine, it feels really good. But the backs of the seats uh, don't work that well at all, um, you can't really feel the cooling on your back so that's uh, definitely something that needs improvement. The last thing that I hate about the seats is the lumbar support. Now the lumbar is adjustable in and out, but it's not adjustable up and down. So you can, it can't fit different types of uh, backs and different types of body types. So I don't really use the lumbar support because the lumbar support is too low for my back and the way that I like to sit in the car. So you know, if you're going to put lumbar support in the car, at least make it adjustable up and down, which I think is more important than uh, you know in and out because uh, everybody is a different height and. Uh, different body types so um, sometimes the feature seems a bit useless so those are all the things that I hate about the Mustang GT now a caveat is that most of, of those things um, can be fixed with some proper mods so um, there are some mods for the shifter um, for the suspension for the exhaust um, that can really fix all those problems and make the car handle and perform a lot better so I look forward to hopefully being able to get those mods on my car, but for now I'm going to have to deal with those uh, you know, few um, things that I don't like on the car.